after guest, Melissa De La Cruz. Hello! Today's video is sponsored by Disney Hyperion, and today we're here to celebrate the release of Melissa De La Cruz's new book, The Isle of the Lost. to a new Disney Channel movie that's going to be coming out later on this year. It's about the descendants of the evil characters from the Disney films. Isle of the Lost follows Mal, who is Maleficent's daughter, and Jay, who is Jafar's son, and Carlos, who is Cruella's son, and Evie, who is the evil queen's daughter. And they've been banished to this island, and they're going to get a chance in the movie, the Disney Channel movie, to go to school with the descendants of the heroes, right? Of oh, yes. The the good people. Heroes. Yes, the boring people. <laughs> <laughs> How much fun was it writing in the Disney universe? It was so much fun. I mean, I called the book basically uh, the ultimate fan fiction because <laughs> I got to say what happened happily ever after to everybody. Yeah. When they came to me, we were already, they had already had a script and the movie was going to go in production, you know, like in a couple of months. So they asked me to write kind of the backstory, give the villains a little bit more of a story of how they got to the island and what happens <laughs> to them there. Because you don't really see the Isle of the Lost for more than like maybe 10 minutes in the movie. But in the book, you're on the island you for really the whole time. explore it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a favorite villain that you're about to write or that's just your favorite in general in Disney universe? Um, you know, definitely I think Maleficent is the <laughs> big bad, as we call her in the yeah. book. You know, she's just the most powerful. I mean, she puts the whole kingdom to sleep. I mean, she's really angry. <laughs> she's super scary looking. Yeah, she's so scary and she didn't get invited to a party, right? So, <laughs> it's just kind of like how I am when I don't get invited to a party. It's so. <laughs> the end of the world. <laughs> that's right. So today we thought it would be mm -hmm. fun to do the Disney book tag together. So our first category mm -hmm. is The Little Mermaid. A character who is a fish out of water. My favorite character who I most recently read about oh, nice. a fish out of water is I'm... Harper Price from Rebel Bell. Nice. Oh, this is a super fun book. She gets these powers and she totally doesn't know what to do with them. This one was a tough one, but I think a fish out of water is just somebody who doesn't quite fit yeah, in yeah, to whatever world they're in. And I'm just gonna plug my other book, Frozen. <laughs> nice. Where Nat is is born uh, with a hidden power that she cannot divulge. It is the Heart of Dread series. Check it out. That's right. <laughs> and she's definitely a fish out of water in um, New Vegas. Very cool. Shameless plug, sorry. I have the book. <laughs> Our next category is Snow White. Okay. And this is a book with an eclectic cast of characters. Ooh, I immediately thought of the outsiders, you know, Ooh, and cool, Pony yeah. Boy and Soda Pop and Derry. You know, they're also different. Dallas, you know, really tragic. Very Johnny, cool, yeah. who's, you know, the sad, vulnerable one. So, yeah. I have not read The Outsiders. Oh! It's just like, I know. I know. Dude. Everyone's like, that's a classic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Next category we have is Sleeping Beauty. Oh, oh yes, I saw. Put you to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I'm going with a classic that okay. I had to force to read okay. back in school, which oh. was Madame Bovary. Oh. Did you ever have to read that one? You know, I know, but now that you, uh, now that we're going classics, the old man to see. Okay. Do it for me. <laughs> Snore. <laughs> <laughs> the next category we have here is The Lion King. It's one of my favorite That is one of my favorites too. Oh, a character who had something traumatic happen to them in childhood, which is like a lot of our heroines. I think a lot of them. A almost of all of YA, right? <laughs> but do we have a favorite? Do you have a favorite? Um, I think my favorite is your favorite. Harry I Potter. Harry Potter. Who else? <laughs> Live in a cupboard under the stairs and changed our lives. He's so. the best. Changed all of Definitely. I mean, we're all here because of Harry, right? Yeah, favorite Harry Potter book. Uh, number three. I'm an Azkaban Ooh, person. Definitely. Uh, I think mine's yeah. the seventh one. Interesting. Yeah, the yeah, last yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So exciting. Yeah, no, definitely. Our next category is Beauty and the Beast. This is a book that is a beast of a book, so it's intimidating when you first got mm. it, but when you read it, it was beautiful and wonderful and spectacular. Definitely. My favorite book is War and Peace, Ooh. and I was 25 when I read it, and I was an English major 
And I felt like, oh my god, I've never read War and Peace. It's so intimidating, yeah. it's so long. <laughs> it looks really boring, but it was awesome. And it's a great, great book. Well, that's awesome. So I, I encourage you all to read it. another classic that yes. I should really read. <laughs> yes, I tried. I'm, I'm trying to you know, convert everybody to read it. But it is... It is a brick. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. For me, this has to be the Mistborn trilogy. Okay. Oh, Brandon I, Sanderson. Yeah, Brandon yeah. Sanderson. It is awesome. fabulous. Yeah. It is long. <laughs> yes, I know. Those are actually still intimidating me. But my husband is a huge fan. Oh, yeah. So I, have, I still have one more book left. Like, okay. the second book took me a month to get through. The next category is a new one that I made up that isn't in Cat's Tag. Ooh. It is... Hercules. I feel like Hercules as a Disney movie is just mm -hmm. neglected. I love all the gods and goddesses and oh, stuff. Yeah. This is a book that uh -huh. you feel like inspired you and made you a stronger human. Oh, you know, I'd have to go. I read a lot of Stephen King when I was a oh, teenager, nice. and they definitely inspired me to kind of keep on going. I think you know, it was one of the uh, oh, yeah, really great books that I love because it's about a group of friends. Who defeat a huge evil and it's really you know it's just really wonderful i kind of feel like i grew up with those characters yeah yeah, yeah. your choices are really interesting i like those <laughs> they're so different from mine <laughs> mine for hercules when i read it in college when i was not mm. feeling very brave uh, and i read divergent uh, i felt so yes. much stronger after yes. i was like i'm gonna do things yes. different do things uh, that scare me next category we have here is mulan your favorite character who's pretending to be something they're not i really love rainbow Rao. Yes. and I love fangirl and I'm not sure if she's really pretending to be something she's not um, but she's definitely trying yeah. to be somebody else. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite person who's pretending to be someone or not, I'm going back to like Stephanie Meyer days. <laughs> the oh. host. Back in 2008. A lot of people haven't read it now. I like, read it. I, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it a lot. It's one of my favorite book that mm -hmm. she's written. Mm -hmm. Wanda. <laughs> the next category I have is Up. Did you see the film Up? Yes. It is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Very sad. It's one of my very favorite. Well, mm -hmm. it has a happy ending. Yeah. Up is a book that at first, given the title and the cover, you have no idea what it's about. Mm. <laughs> then you read it and you absolutely love it. When I yeah. saw the Up trailer, so I was like, what mm. is this? Mm. <laughs> that for me was mm. I'll Give You the Sun. <laughs> mm. <laughs> because it's just like, what is this mm -hmm. book about with mm -hmm. the sun? You know, I think The Duff was a book that I was kind of yeah. like, didn't realize it was going to be so fun and so sexy yeah when you see it on the shelves it looks kind of very light and mm -hmm. very chiclety but it's actually really um very sexy <laughs> you must read it <laughs> it's quite funny. fun next i have frozen Ooh. <laughs> for frozen it's just a pair of book siblings that you absolutely love and once again i'm going to plug my own book <laughs> Go for uh, it. because blue bloods has the force oh, twins blue jack Bloods. and mimi force and I will always, yeah, they're the, you know, the brother, sister, uh, team that I'm always rooting for, definitely. Nice, <laughs> nice. Mine is kind of like, I kind of like them, but I, you love to hate them. As a pairing, it's mm -hmm. Clary and her brother. Oh, okay, from yes. From the Moral Instruments. Yes. The Moral Instruments. <laughs> <laughs> they're super fun. <laughs> and lastly, we have the Disney Descendants category. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! I love a lot. <laughs> Brought to you by Disney Hyperion. Brought to you by Disney <laughs> <laughs> and for this category, it's your favorite villain or morally ambiguous character. In Disney or in, anywhere else? We can do both. Do it in oh, Disney okay. and in another book. Okay. Like um, you know, I definitely like Maleficent. Yes. Um, she's definitely scary and powerful. Um, but I also like the wicked stepmother, who she will do anything you know, to make sure Cinderella does woman. not go to the ball. So she's kind of fabulous, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love villains. I love the Darkling in uh, oh, the yeah. Grisha trilogy. Oh, I have three Christian trilogy. <laughs> I don't know behind it. So many books. Voldemort and Valentine. Oh, yeah. They're both kind of tied Voldemort for my favorite. Good, yeah. yeah, Voldemort is fantastic. Yeah. It's like everybody loves Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> I, kind of feel like I, I love Voldemort. Love him as a. <laughs> yeah. To hate him. Yes. <laughs> but I also really like Valentine, who's also from the Mortal Instruments mm -hmm. series. <laughs> Disney movies. I really like Katie's back to her kids. Hercules! <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought Prince Hans was a fun villain in Frozen. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. An, you know, unexpected. unexpected mm -hmm. villain, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, tell us more about what goes down in the Isle of the Lost. After Happily Ever After, I discovered during my research that all the villains had uh, been destroyed <laughs> in all the movies, so I thought, oh my god, I have to bring them back somehow. 
you know. And so yeah. I said that they were brought back. Some of them were brought back from death and put on this island. And so uh, Maleficent's daughter is Mal. Evil Queen's daughter is Evie. Uh, Corrupted Bills. <laughs> All their names are like so much fun. Oh, yes. Broken off their oh, parents. I know. It's so funny. And that's from the script. You know, Maleficent's daughter is Mal. Evil Queen's is Evie. Uh, Corral de Vils is Carlos. And Jafar's is Jay. The kids are all growing up kind of alone. And uh, they go to a school called Dragon Hall. One day, something happens that kind of changes things. And they discover that Maleficent's evil scepter is uh, lost on the island. And so Maleficent tells Mal, you've got to go get it. So bring it back, honey. And the scepter is cursed. So whoever touches it falls asleep for a thousand oh, years. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> So there's like a lots of evil scheming. There's a lot of humor. The story is a prequel to the script, which had already been written. So the ending of the book sets up the movie, which is really fun. That is really cool. I just I yeah. love how it's like there's a book that's prequeling a Disney Channel movie. It's just so different. Yeah, I no, it's, it's kind of fun. You have to read the book and yeah, then you watch the movie to find out what happens. Movie. It's very cool. Right. I love the whole scepter ordeal. Oh yeah, of Loki and the Avengers. Right yeah, I know it really is. <laughs> I had to figure out things that. That, you know we could use and I was like nobody's ever written about Maleficent staff before yeah it's like I'll write the history <laughs> that's really cool so you got to like kind of really brainstorm oh like, yeah no I mean I always say it was kind of this narrow project but then you had the whole universe to work in it yeah. like the book had to end where the movie started um, but uh, I could do whatever I wanted. Yeah, it's like a cool you know? writing exercise. Yeah, it's for Disney junkies, and the little kids really like it too. Yeah, yeah. Ages 8 to 80. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. It's the first book I've written that my kid really wanted to read. Oh, that's so nice. She's 8. <laughs> she's not allowed to read the others. They're <laughs> buffer. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm really glad you could come and talk to us. Thank about you so the much. Also super it's so great to be here. <laughs> Yay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.